I've been working on kind of niche silicon for about 20 years. Silicon's not good at infrared detection. And so I've been working on those problems to essentially make silicon do the things it shouldn't be able to do. Well, the practical applications for mid infrared are things like um, thermal imaging, so looking in the dark. So the military are obviously very keen on that for night sites. And there's environmental sensing, so detect things like water vapor, CO2, because that's an application where it tells you, for example, how many people are in a building. And you can then use that to control the whole building systems, air conditioning, opening, shutting windows automatically, turning heating on and off, turning lights on and off. So for environmental monitoring, it's a very important area. The innovation really is we're introducing uh, rare earths into the silicon and the key to the technology is we've managed to do that and get direct interaction between the silicon and the rare earth which is unique. The advantage silicon has over current technologies is it's non-toxic, it's very manufacturable so there's a massive uh, cost advantage in moving to the silicon. So you can buy a camera chip for maybe a dollar. If you wanted to buy a mid-infrared camera you're probably looking at uh, tens of thousands of pounds. What you do is you, you have a source where you have the element of interest. You then accelerate that iron out of the source chamber down a, essentially a long tube, then put it through a magnet, and then you accelerate that into the silicon. And that will bury the dope into the silicon. We should be able to get up to working up at room temperature, which current mid-infrared technologies will never do. The mid-infrared mark is predicted to grow to about 8 billion by 2019. The Brian Mercer Award from the Royal Society is really very important to the research and enables us to get more funding and employ someone to carry on the research for two years, particularly on this aspect of getting up to room temperature. I think probably more importantly, it kind of is a very strong endorsement of the science and the technology. We've decided that the, uh, the detector is much closer to the market, so we'll be looking to raise funds in the next few months.